Hi, this is Rebecca Delosier, and this tutorial is on how to use your iPad with um, your Macintosh to screencast from your iPad to your Mac so you can post it on YouTube, which sounds really confusing, but basically what it's going to allow you to do is if you need to create a tutorial to use um, something on the Mac, you can create a tutorial for your kiddos and then record it or if you want to go ahead and um, use your um, your iPad to go ahead and show them how to work problems and have the talking head or have something else up like if you wanted to have a calculator app up or um, a picture of something else but basically I'm just going to show you how to do it so I'm using Screencast-O-Matic but you can do the same thing with um, with QuickTime all you need to do is record your entire desktop now when you initially open up um, AirPlay, it's going to look like this, which is full screen, which is too big. So if you just go ahead and you go up, you just make it smaller, and you can make this window however big you want or however small you want. I actually like it to take it most of my window because I am going to use mine as a notebook or a whiteboard. So I'm going to open up Note Anytime. The hardest part about this is to remember to click on your iPad and not to try and click on your screen. It drives me crazy all the time. And I am going to open up just, um, let's see, let's open up this face to face. Um, and so this would be like a physics problem. A set of pulleys lifts a piano and does 3,356 joules of work. If the piano is lifted, lifted in 75 seconds, how much power is used. So if I needed to show my kids how to do this, if I needed to do a tutorial um, and I was trying to explain a process and I wanted to do this um, on the Mac, this way you can actually see me going in so you could see that I'm trying to find power here so I could go ahead and highlight power using my highlighter and I could write the formula power equals work divided by time and then I know that this is my work and this is my time, and so I could do power equals 3,356 divided by 75. If I had a calculator app, which I actually don't because I use the iPad for it, I could go ahead and um, pull that up and put that in this space over here that um, I have empty, but I don't. But what I can do is I can do this. I can go ahead and I know it's 3,356 divided by 75, so I can go back and I can open up my calculator app that I use 3,356 divided by 75 equals and that's going to give me 44.7 so I would go back to note anytime and I would write 44.7 and my units would be watts and that would be my answer. So there I've gone ahead and showed them how to use it. But you could do this for anything. You could do it if you just wanted to explain to them like here's your textbook and if you wanted to explain to them how to actually get into some aspect of their book um, and that app was a bad choice because it's actually very slow. If you wanted to explain to them how to uh, crop photos in their photo album or if you wanted them to be using Flowboard or Study Room um, you could go ahead and use any of these. It's just a good way to make videos um, that are training the kids to use the iPad or if the kids need to make a video to train someone to use the iPad they can do it by airplane into your machine also. Um, so it's it's a nice novel way to do um, the whiteboard tutorials. I know a lot of the math teachers have had questions about how do I just you know have a blank page so here's your blank page and you can just do whatever you need if you want to add pictures from your photo album in so you can go ahead and do that you can just add in a picture you can add in Rosalind Franklin um, so here's superhero Rosalind Franklin so you could go ahead and you know if her mass was whatever you could go ahead and you could calculate it but it's it's just an easy way to replace those inner right pads because I know that I really miss them um, if you have any problems with this go ahead and let me know and I will try and help you with that. Um, if you're having problems with AirPlay, I can't help you with that. Um, I can show you how it's supposed to work, but it doesn't always work 100% for me, but we'll try, okay?